prints the next morning. Violet and I were just up, but we went for a walk and Randall, there was a bunch of Randalls out there, left me another present. I have a nice collection of crow feathers um, and it wasn't there when I left and when I got back, it was there. And they were sitting up and there was three of them sitting up in the tree looking down at me. And yeah, I have a nice little collection here. A whole bunch of crow feathers they like to give me so it's very fancy I think they're giving a little bit of themselves to me and I give a little bit of myself to them just you know in loving friendship and yeah it's very cool now I've got to wash my hands and um, heat up a coffee I have a Tim Hortons coffee in the fridge to warm up if this is a new video it's Tracy and Violet from Nova Scotia Living, but I don't think it is. I don't think I filmed a whole bunch yesterday, I don't think. I don't know. But the kids go to camp today, and I have, um, I have an appointment today here at the house. Um, I'm switching up my internet provider. I didn't really talk about it the other day, but we had cable here, and we never really watched cable, so we were paying for cable we weren't even watching. And I finally got around to um, contacting our internet provider and we were locked in for two years and it's been over two years you know what I mean like whatever um, I'm just getting my coffee anyways I didn't really have a complaint about it I just wanted to not have to pay for cable and just disconnect the cable keep our internet but not the cable we could do that but they tried tooth and nail to get me to you know, maybe just downsize it, and I'm just like, yeah, but I, we don't watch cable. Like, we don't. We, um, we watch, like, streaming services. Personally, I don't really watch TV myself. I'll watch movies sometimes, or I read books. <laughs> so, um, but the kids, it's more YouTube than anything, and, or, like, Netflix, or Prime, or, and, the guy's name was Brad, and he's like, well, do you pay for any of those services? I, well, I said, yes, but really, it's none of his dang business, but yes, but that's what we use. Anyways, long story short, our internet provider, what we had with the bundle, the internet speed was 500, whatever. It was faster, but he's like, if you don't take the bundle, the internet speed is going to go down, and I'm just like, to 350, and I'm just like... Why is that? Like, why can't you just, you know, if I'm willing to pay for faster internet, why can't I get that? And he's like, well, it's just not uh, available in your area anymore, which I would take that as an excuse because where I do live, it's very rural. But if I had it with cable, why can't I have it with just internet? I don't understand. Anyways, I felt like it was a tactic to make me I don't know I felt like it was like he wasn't rude but I'm just like for God's sake just let me not have cable please like he's like well you already grandfathered into that high speed internet but if you don't take the bundle you can't have it anymore and I'm just like no that's fine that's fine I was just like I want to get off this phone like I swear they they get they get you know I don't know how to explain it. Long story short, we just have internet now, but it's not as fast as it was before. And I'm just like, well, well, sir, well, sir, I'm going to just look around. So I called this other service provider, like probably their biggest competitor, I think. I don't know. But I was talking to this guy named Gurdeep, seemed very nice. I actually did it via like chat, online chat. And then after he called me and, you know, we've had people come to our house door, you know, pass, drop off pamphlets and stuff. And very nice. And they do all the same things my regular service provider does. Um, again, I don't want, I don't want cable. I just want high speed internet. And, um, with just internet with my old service provider, it was going to be $108 with the slower internet a month plus tax. With this new service provider, it's going to be 
$110, but it's going to be three times faster than my highest high speed with my old service provider because it's fiber off or something. I don't know. And it's not locked into a contract. I can cancel it month to month. You know what I mean? Like, I can just cancel it. And I'm like, well, I don't know why I had such a weird feeling about not being loyal to a company that I was with for a very long time. But if it's not in my best interest in my money, and although I would, you know, it's a couple dollars cheaper than the new place, but the internet's slower. No, no, I'm not going to be loyal to a company who's not loyal to me in that sense. You know what I mean? I'm just like, forget it. It's inconvenient that I have to have somebody come into my house to rewire whatever the heck they do to switch out internets. Oh, and another thing is, like, we have cable, a cable box out there. And he's like, I don't think you have to bring back any equipment, but I'll send you a link for you to double check it. And I'm just like, okay. Uh, I'm just like, they should have a record of all the stuff I have. You know, they have a record for if I ever miss a payment. They should have a record. But he's like, no, I don't think that you have anything. But here's a link. You need to go check it and make sure that there's anything. I'm just like, for God's sakes, I need to go look under all the things and find the serial numbers to see. And I'm just like, it's quite inconvenient. Almost like punishing me for disconnecting. And I'm just like, rubs me the wrong way. And... I really didn't have any complaint with them before, except for this. I just didn't want to pay with cable. Internet and cable with my old service provider was $196 plus tax. So 200 and some dollars, like 15% tax. So if I was just taking internet off and I was just going to pay $108 for, you know, like for internet, that would be fine. If they had left my internet speed as it was, I wouldn't have known any different. But that set me on the trail to look for a new service provider. And when this man or woman comes to do this, I'm going to ask them before they touch anything, will I get internet all over my house? Because with my old service provider, we had to buy an extender. Because, you know, like, I needed to get an extender. Because it's, I don't know, like our house is big. So if it's hooked up down here in the piano room, is way up in Maze's room going to have internet? Like, I don't know. I need to know that before I start ripping stuff out. So, I don't know why I'm talking about this so much, but <laughs> that's what today is going to be. It's 6.24 now. I just warmed up my coffee. Where's the lid? I don't know where the heck the horse is. He must be in one of the rooms with one of the kids. Um, that Violet was there with me. I was going to say, where's my phone? But you guys are in my hand, of course. I'm a dink, Violet. I'm a dink. Anyways, this is hotter. This is hot. And I have to drive the kids into camp for 8.15. So I don't know what time today they are, they are to come, but I know it's today. So I don't like that, but, you know, I know that's what most places are like anyways. So... If I go in, drop them off at 8.15, come directly back out, and hopefully they come while the kids are at camp, because they're not. I'm not going to allow them to come when just Mally and Mazai are here. Like, I don't think that's appropriate. They are supposed to call me before they come, but if they, if they do come while the kids, like, when it's time to pick them up, I'll just call Dad to see if he can pick the kids up, and then I'll go in after the guy leaves. It's just aggravating. I know the salesperson, Gurdeep, it was very nice. And it's like, it should take two or three hours. I'm like, sakes, seriously? I thought they were just going to mail me a box and hook it up. But they must have to switch out wires and stuff. Not just regular. I'm like, can't they just use the regular wires that were here? He's like, I don't really know. <laughs> He's not a technician person, right? I said, okay, well... What you gonna do? That's my day today. So I'm gonna be on edge, but I'll have Violet and Boris who will freak out when somebody comes into the house. Well, you know, bark and stuff. 
but it'll be worth it. It'll save me a little bit of money. Well, it won't, but it will be faster internet, which will be good because I was not going to get on a peg by a man named Brad who worked for this old service provider who I don't know whether he was just winding me up, like trying to think, make me hook on to a bundle that I don't want. Oh, no, Brad. You crossed the wrong, wrong woman. No, 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 sir. All right, guys, I haven't checked back in a bit. It's 822. I didn't have to drive the kids in. My husband is. He's going up to his office. Um, he has a meeting or something. I didn't realize he had it this early in the morning, so um, I didn't have to drive him in, which is good. But I've been trying to clean up, you know, when somebody's coming, you know how it is. You just feel like, so I'm just taking a little breather now. I turn this fan on because I'm hot. I fed these guys breakfast, uh, like Violet and Boris, and, um, yeah, I did put a load of laundry in. I have another one to do. Let me just think what else. Oh, I wanted to clean up around that desk. I'm not all done, but, um, I'm assuming he has to go and do stuff around there. That's where our modem is and stuff. So I want to wipe it down and stuff, but, um, I just need a little break because I need to cool down. I just put TV for dogs on. Mally and Mazai are still sleeping. And yeah, I just want it to be tip top, even though this person probably will not even notice anything, but just in my own personal mind, you can't help but want to have it, have the kitchen table wiped off, the floor swept and all that stuff um, when a stranger is coming. But yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. And I'm gonna call dad here shortly after nine he's probably up now but I'll just with a courtesy I'll wait till after nine to call him to say if I can't come to pick the kids up for when their camp is done could he pick them up and I'll pick them up after from his house I'm sure he will but I just I want that backup because once our internet is disconnected um, I won't be able to call because our phone is like through an internet provider and it's through Vonage if you ever heard of Vonage but, um, yeah, I just, if that guy comes, I'll call dad. And if it's like after lunch, I don't think I'll be able to pick them up at their designated time. So that's the plan, Stan. Right. I wiped the counter off. That's just two cabbages over there. Wiped the table, swept the floor, have the fan going. I need to rotate laundry in a second. I swept out here. That's some more books I'm going to donate um, down at that little free library. I read them and I like them. I like this, but I just know I won't read it again. Intensity by Dean Koontz. I read this. This was a good one too, but I don't think I'll read it again. And I'd pass it on. A Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson. Um, I read this one and it was okay. I took this with me when I went to Red Deer last time. And it's an apocalyptic uh, romance kind of thing. But it's not as... It was too lovey-dovey for me, so, by L. Kennedy. And this one I had bought, and I read it a long time ago. It's a series, but I wasn't impressed. The again, This was like a college romance kind of thing, enemies to lovers, and the boy was just childish. Like, he was mad at something that was so dumb. Like, it just ticked me off. I'm just like, how childish could you be? So, I'm going to donate those. <laughs> Next time I go out in a boat. Oh, and yes, I just cleaned the bathroom. I didn't do the mirror. I suppose I could do that, but swept the floor, wiped the counters off. And um, I have a rack here. I'm going to have to, I'm sure, set up because I know I've got towels. Boris, what do you have to say there, young man? What do you have to say? I got the fan going because it's quite muggy and gross. I would bring those toys up, but Evie will be coming back, and he likes to play with them. Those would usually be up in Mace's room, so that's all right. I did, <laughs> I did pull out this amp and did under there and wiped it and all that stuff. Make sure there's no cobwebs and stuff. That's where all the plugs and all that stuff go. And that's our modem that we'll be replacing and wipe the desk off. I just use those wipes there. And I wiped the TV stand. And, like, this will be going. 
Um, that's the DVD player, Apple TV. Of course, I know you like my bracelets, but you're not getting them. But wiped all under. Tried to wipe around the te back of the TV. What? What are you so excited for these guys? Violet, you too? You too? But, and did like the baseboards down there. Wiped around that plug. And just, I don't know where else he's going to be at. But I just don't want it to be all dusty and gross. And Francis, you're looking mighty fine today. Oh, I cleared off the piano for the most part. Wiped that. Um, here's Raggedy Ann and Andy. I have two sets of them. Uh, one set was left in the house over at my old house. And another one was here. They just like to follow me. But that's okay. They're beautiful, aren't they? They're friendly. Um, and there's that <laughs> keyhole to... Neverland or wherever it goes that that's plan B if you ever have to escape and that's just the arts and crafts stuff that the boys play with and yeah yeah that's about all I can do maybe I should do my hair up in a nice knot and put a little mascara on so I look like a grown up instead of a uh, I don't know disheveled ball of yarn I guess there. Do I look a little more grown up? I put some moisture cream on so my face is all shiny, but yeah, just make myself a little more put together feeling. All right, guys, I am up here trying to edit a video. Oh, I'm tired of waiting for this technician. I know they're busy. I know they're busy, but I wish they could give me a ballpark figure of when he's going to come. Yeah, anyways, I just put an ending on a video I'm trying to edit, so I can at least get one video up tonight, just in case everything goes sideways getting new internet. I can at least get this one up, hopefully, if, you know, if possible. And I did hear from Dad, he is going to pick the kids up, and he'll just bring them back to their house, uh, uh, his house, and he might end up bringing them out or not, I don't know. But, um, otherwise, I'll just go in and get them after, so, anyways... I'm going to get to editing. Alright guys, I'm done editing that video. It's exporting now and I'll click it to upload it. The guy's still not here yet. At least it's edited. Um, I defrosted a pack of hamburger. It's still in the microwave. Um, I'm going to sizzle it up in a bit. I'm going to make tacos. I don't have lettuce, but I do have greens. So they can just have that with it. And some salsa and some taco sauce and cheese. But um, these guys need to get outside for a bit. And I'm sitting in the shade. They're mainly in the shade. They can't get in the sun, but it's very hot. It's very hot. It's like 28 degrees. And I don't want to get burned. I do have my bare feet on the ground. I have some water. And Dad's going to pick up the kids and bring them out after. So that's convenient for me. Um, Maze is supposed to have a soccer game tonight, too. But it's down the French shore, which isn't that big a deal. It's a little ways away, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to take him if disappointment said, you know, it's going to be two to three hours. And if he comes at, you know, five o'clock or four o'clock, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to because my husband's not here and I'm not leaving a technician. I'm sure they're fine, but I'm not going to leave them here to work with Mally and Messiah. You know what I mean? They're, they're not adults. They're not going to be here. I'm a technician. I need to be here. So if he has to miss this one game, he'll have to miss this one game, which is fine. And it's too bloody hot out, honestly. It's really dangerously hot out. Um, if I was to go, I'd want to bring an umbrella, <laughs> honestly, to keep the sun off of me. And then I'll look like a real creepy lady, all dressed in black with a big black umbrella, being antisocial. But that's okay. I don't mind that. Anyways, yeah, the camp should be just about done. I don't know if I should try to call the internet people to see. My appointment was today. Like, they said it could have been yesterday. I said, no, actually, I'm busy. What the heck did I do yesterday? Oh, the dogs got their hair cut. Um, I'm busy, so I'd be gone, like, half the day, which, if they didn't come in the morning, that'd be fine. But he's like, Tuesday or Wednesday? I said, well, Wednesday would be better. I can stay home all day, and yeah, anyways, I might try to look up a number I can call them at, because just to make sure that they didn't skip. I know when my husband left this morning, he's like, I seen the 
truck, like he passed direction. Was he coming to our house? I said, well, they're supposed to call before they get here. Now, I hope to hell he didn't come and try to knock on my door because my doorbell doesn't work. And the guy, Gradeep, assured me that, like, they're supposed to call when they're on their way. So, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. All right, guys. Dad got here. I was on the phone. They're supposed to call me back and all that jazz. Frustrating. But this is the pack I defrosted. It was regular 1973, marked down to 933, but I got that 50% off of 933. So I'm going to scramble this up. All right, that's in the frying pan. I'm going to start sizzling that. I'll probably put onion garlic powder, not a whole bunch. Um, but I'm just going to do up this. I got two boxes of this the other day. I'm just cooking up one. And yeah, simple, easy tacos. I might have to shred some more cheese though. Actually, that's what I'm going to do now. All right, this cheese and that food processor. Oh, there we have it. All right, that took literally no time to cook up. It's 3.14. This is early, but um, I just want to cook it now in case that person comes. Um, I did put onion and garlic powder in, and I just opened the box. It comes with, like, the taco seasoning mix, some taco sauce, and some tortillas, so... Yeah, I put a half a can of tomato soup in here too. I know it doesn't say that on the box, but that's what I do. Maybe a little bit of um, water, but yeah. So I'm going to go get the soup. All right, so what I have in here is some beet greens. I think that's what they are. I washed and patted dry. Some cheese, some hamburger, taco meat, and some taco sauce. I don't have any sour cream, but that's okay. All right, guys. Mm -mm. I gave me the bath. I fed Violet and Boris. I'm on the phone on friggin' hold with the new service provider because still a no-show. Turns out I had the emails to say it's supposed to be today, but for some reason it didn't go to the back office. Something like that. They were supposed to call me back today. Boris, get going. I'm in a bad mood with a new appointment. They did not call me back, but I got an email receiving the next available, or my next appointment is August 25th. August 25th. That's ridiculous. So, no. So I'm on the phone because August 25th is more than a month away before they can come and do this. When I had an appointment already set up today, and they might have, they don't know, I might have had to take a day off work from my office building. Luckily, I work from home. You know what I mean? Like, hmm, I don't know. I'm hoping that we'll be able to come to some sort of an arrangement. It keeps cutting out. I'm thinking that somebody's picking it up, but... I don't know who else I could call. Like, this is enough to take me off to not go with them, but it's like, who else could I go with? I don't know. I'm just having a rough day. And now that they're obviously not coming today, I don't have enough time to get Maze to the soccer game, so I'm just not even going to say anything to him about it. I really like businesses that offer to call you back, but you get to keep your place in line. I wish all businesses had that. Oh, I'm fit to be tied, honestly. Honestly. And not that I, I'm not glad my house is tidied up, but I'm just like, you know, I've been on edge all day waiting for this person to come. And now they're not coming. And I'm mentally exhausted from all of that. And it's hot. And I'm just being a big baby. I'm sure my Aunt Flo is going to come visit me anytime now. So that might be part of it. Anyways, I'll fill you in. Not that it's exciting news, but 
I'm not hanging up this phone until I get a hold of somebody. And I hate it. Every time I call back, I've called them three times already. It's the three different people. I have to go through it all again. You know? For Christ. Mm. All right, I talked to a young lady. She sounded just like a little girl, but sweet as pie. She didn't know why it was August 25th. She went and talked to her supervisor. She didn't know why it was, it was just automatically generated for that. So the soonest they can get it is July 17th, which is next Monday. Still pissed off, but still way better than August 20 friggin 5th. Ridiculous. But uh, it's a Monday, so I'll have to do all of this all over again. Because after the weekend, the kids are home. Evie will probably be here. There'll be a mess. There'll be a mess. And I'll have to do it all over again. And, yeah. Anyways, I'm just packing up the leftover hamburger taco meat there's not a whole lot I'm putting it in this I just got the dishwasher going um, I'm gonna wipe the table off but yeah at least I got that sorted my husband's down here cutting that big log I was. I wasn't getting you though. Just like your arms. Here, I'll shut it off. Ooh, it's not attached, is it? No, it's not attached, but. I just don't want it to land down on that. Right. I got gotcha. you. Hmm. Jack on that while I push it back that way. Jack on what? Oh. Alright. Well, let me get to him. Oh, just a second. There was a centipede just here, too. He must have went into a hole, but there's some worms where this log was sitting. I thought there might have been a snake or something, but no. Just lots of little bugs. Sorry, we disturbed your home. There's some ants there, too. I'm just getting your hands. I put my sunglasses on. Because I don't know how this is going to go, so you need to get back. Okay. Because of that. But see how that's there? Yeah. Should I move that jack? You want me to come over there to push too? I can get over there and push too. Oh, it is. Ah, oh, bugs are biting me.
she's stubborn. Oh. Oh, just about there. Woo! Oh, shit! Wow. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't think that was going to happen. That came right off the... My god. We might have to chunk that up to be able to push it, roll it back over. That broke right off there. Wow. That was something. How's the wheels? Yeah. Yeah. Yoza. Part of the trailer. Mar, I think that's lifting up part of the trailer, it looked like. Well, it, as it was coming down, it was lifting up. neat just to see the inside of that too. Yeah, like, oh, there's a bunch of bugs in there. Sorry guys, what is that? Yeah, it's not interesting. Hmm. Rolls over on me. Yeah. Oh, snap. Oh, it didn't roll off. It did not roll off. That's good. <laughs> Look, um, we think that might be bear poop. I'm just coming up to check on Violet and Boris. Yeah, I don't know. My husband says that's not deer poop, and I know it's not dog poop. Maybe it's raccoon poop, or it could be bear poop. But it seemed kind of big for a raccoon. I don't know. Are you guys okay? I'm just checking on ya. I love ya. Just want to make sure they're being awfully quiet. All right, we put a strap around it to try to roll it back over because these tires are up off the ground a little bit. And we'll see. Ooh. Maybe it just needs to roll around until. I don't know what you mean. There's the step that you're running into. Yeah. Well, not the step, but like part of the trailer. Yeah, fine, but if I bend it up. Oh. No, but your tire is getting pretty squished in. Well, the one over here. Yeah, we might need the truck. 
rock maybe. Do you want me to go over and try to push it while you do that? Yeah. Not right now. God. That sounds like it's going to break. I'm scared that's going to snap. That's spinning. That's not moving. I don't think that's going to work with the four-wheeler, honestly. I don't know. Yeah, let's lifting that up more. Yeah, those are real off the ground now. Yeah. Here. I think he's going to junk up some of these so we get the truck in here and try to level that up. I don't know if we're doing that all tonight, but yeah, see those wheels are right up off the ground. But yeah, I'll just sit here. He says I'm out here for safety purposes in case something goes wrong. I said yes sir, no problem sir. He is one sexy beast though, isn't he? Get the wheelbarrow. We have two of them, but this one works best. So I just had to dump out some water. I'd put you in it and ride you down there, but it's all wet. He has that wheelbarrow full of like chunks of wood. So we can clear it away. Just caught Violet and Boris and the truck door is open. The bugs are getting pretty bad. One bit me right in the friggin' I don't know if you can see the hole right in the middle. Son of a it's very itchy. Now it'd be nice if you know you had money coming to me or something like that. Itchy palm and all that, but I don't know. We'll see how he's making out down here. Last bit of that log he chopped up. I got the chainsaw. He'll drive the four-wheeler up. And that's all she wrote for tonight. But we'll bring the truck down tomorrow or something and get it all sorted. The bugs are biting me something awful, honestly. Little baskets there. <sighs> Anyways, i got to put this in the shop so we can lock the shop up. And tomorrow's garbage day. Mm. When I was upstairs editing today, I emptied the upstairs bathroom, the kids' bedrooms. I just need to make sure we get the rest of it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, there he goes. All right. Get out of here, black boys. Sheesh. Yeah, and there's some old um, camping chairs over there that I need to remember to put out. Hopefully they take them. 
I don't see why they wouldn't. Oh, jeez. There. Ooh, all right, guys. It's Tracy from another day. I'm just editing this video right now. Just watching us chunk up that, well, not so much me, that big uh, tree. We were working on the rest of it today, so. Yes. Yeah, it is. 9.37 at night. I want to get this video edited and uploaded so I can schedule it to post tomorrow. Um, and yeah, that was a good, a good day. Good supper. Hot day though. Well, no, that wasn't even, it's not the greatest day of all that waiting and rigmarole with the internet service provider and stuff like that. But, oh well, sometimes, you know, life just throws your curveballs and stuff. Somebody. Yes. Don't you scary. Yeah. Anyways, um, at least I have an appointment that's not August twenty fifth and stuff. So. All right. I need to put this ending on, um, because I want to go to bed at a reasonable time. The day is actually here, and they're watching a scary movie downstairs. So, yeah, not too scary. I said nothing haunted house, because then I don't want the little ones to think, you know our house is haunted even though there's people all around us and that's okay but you know how kids imaginations can run wild and stuff so no haunted house ones sleep away camp or something like that would be cool or i said did you ever see scream yes ghost face isn't scary mom uh i said well watch friday the 13th or nightmare on elm street then for goodness sakes but i don't know what they're watching Oh, anyways, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose, but if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, okay, guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.